The Washington Spirit contingent at Tokyo 2020 was back in action today as the Olympic quarterfinals ended up being full of drama. The USWNT, who just barely got past the Netherlands, were in one of three games that went to extra time, and also one of the three games that saw four or more goals scored. Elsewhere, we had two Spirit players battling for one place in the semi-final round, so let's get into how everyone did. Julia Rodder Rodder was rotated back out of Sweden's squad entirely today, one of four players who didn't dress as the Swedes beat Japan 3-1. Peter Gerhardsen restoring Hannah Glass at right back is no surprise given how well she's played, but leaving Rodder out entirely after getting her into two of three group stage games perhaps tips us off on her spot within Sweden's hierarchy. They trust her to play if needed, but there are players clearly ahead of her in their best 11. Moving on to the semi-final, Sweden will face Australia in Yokohama on Monday at 7 a.m. Eastern. Australia went through in a match of the tournament contender, which is saying something after how wild Group F was that saw them beat Great Britain 4-3. The Matildas were outplayed early but took a 1-0 lead, then fell behind 2-1 only to force extra time with an 89th-minute Sam Kerr goal. From there, Mary Fowler scored a wonder goal, and then Kerr struck again, and despite Ellen White completing a hat-trick late, the Aussies held on. Sauri Takarada Takarada, after starting Japan's 1-0 win over Chile, was rotated back to the bench for today's quarter-final against Sweden. Asako Takakura has pretty clearly shown that she sees Takarada as her third centre-back option, and sure enough turned to Moika Manami alongside Saki Kumagai for this game. Unfortunately, the way this one played out meant no opportunity for Takarada to get on the field, as Japan never needed to make a defensive move. Sweden took an early lead, and though Japan did very well to equalise, the Swedes came out for the second half and once again took a quick lead. That goal appeared to really swing things their way, and in the end Sweden won 3-1. The loss eliminates Japan, which means Takarada will return to the spirit soon. It's not clear at this point what that means in practical terms, as there are both physical and emotional concerns for all players returning to league play so quickly after what is a gruelling tournament. Kelly O'Hara unsurprisingly started at right back, playing the full 120 minutes as the USWNT got past the Netherlands on penalties. It wasn't her best performance though, as she was deceived by Vivian Miedema on the first goal, and conceded a penalty kick late in the game. However, that set the stage for Alyssa Neha to start a heroic recovery from her own error, letting in a soft second Dutch goal, as the Chicago Red Stars goalkeeper saved Lika Martin's poorly taken spot kick to keep the USWNT alive, and then saved two more penalties in the shootout. 